come, you know, I've been hearing about, a lot about halal finance and not person finance. What's your take on that? Is, is that halal or not halal? Yeah, well, we get, uh, obviously, from our context, obviously we don't get people asking for halal mortgages and stuff, but we get uh, a lot of inquiries about like 0% finance and yeah, halal Sharia compliant finance. And do we do it? Can we, can we get hold of it? And yeah, from our perspective from the car market, there isn't really a product out there that even exists that you can have 0% finance. So it is obviously having finance on a car uh, in Islamic faith, it's uh, yeah, prohibited to have uh, to be paying interest or to earn money on, on interest. So it's yeah, you should uh, avoid it uh, at all times, but or where possible at least. So the financing of cars, they obviously are interest bearing. So a lot of people, they do ask us about the uh, interest-free products out there. And at the moment, there isn't any that we're aware of. Uh, so, and we are, we are quite, obviously, we, we look across the broad spectrum of the market. So 0% finance at the moment doesn't exist for used cars. Uh, the only real thing that you can do is leasing, which is gonna be the pure uh, yeah, Sharia compliant halal product to go for. So, but then you are limited to having a brand new car because on, on the leasing front, uh, it's your know, business contract hire, personal contract hire, you are literally limited to brand new vehicles. So you can't get that product on second-hand cars. On a second-hand market, uh, you don't get 0% finance, you don't get any kind of Sharia compliant product. Uh, what you do see sometimes is on brand new vehicles again, sometimes manufacturers, uh, they like, if they've got a car that's like say 12,000 pounds and they've got a lot of units of those cars or mm. they need to shift a lot of units. Yep. What they'll do is instead of turning around and saying, right, it was 12,000 pounds, now it's 10,000 pounds, they stick out on 0% at the 12,000 pounds, so they, they keep it at the full price, so 12,000 pounds. They put a product around it, which is basically 0%, but then what you do is you, you have to pay. Like if you look at the small terms and conditions on any 0% deal, generally it's a big deposit, so it's 30, 40%. Right. So on the 12 grand car, if it was you know 50% deposit, you have to pay on it, you'd be paying 6,000 pounds mm. deposit, financing 6,000 pounds on 0% interest over a two three four year period and whatever the product they're doing or whatever the offer is but in reality instead of discounting the car down by two thousand pounds or one thousand pounds the interest that they're being charged from their funding bank so if that's like eight yep. percent or say say it's ten percent to keep the numbers for easy six hundred uh, six thousand pounds is what you're financing so ten percent of that six hundred pounds over a three year period eighteen hundred pounds yep there's a two grand discount. Yeah. So instead of you getting 0% finance, so you are getting 0% finance on paper, but really it's what's known as a dealer or manufacturer subsidy. So they're in effect paying the interest for you. So the money's still coming from the same banks, it's still coming from the same sources, but for all intents and purposes on paper, it's 0% and it's yeah, fully Sharia compliant. But what I would say to that, whenever you see an offer like that, if you see it from one guy, I did this very, very successfully on a, uh, a couple of Suzuki Vitara on right. fleet uh, years ago. But someone came to me saying that they can get 0% finance on this. And they said, this is the best deal that you're going to get. So that was with one particular dealership group. So I rang up another dealership group and I said, I want to buy that car. Gave the exact spec and said, how much would you give it to me for? Just, yeah, straightforward cash purchase. Like, yeah, I'll do bank transfer. Yeah. And they went back and forth a little bit. Came back and it was like, it was a hefty discount off it. Right, and then definitely. That chap went back to his finance, uh, his dealer, and said, "I want 0%, but I also want a deposit." Uh, sorry, discount. Yeah, discount. Yeah. No. Yeah. You can't have a discount because in reality, he is getting a discount, but they're just funding the finance for it yeah, instead. Yeah, so it's yeah, there are a lot of smokes and mirrors within the finance world, and yeah, the whole 0% Sharia compliant thing. It, does it even exist, or is it just a change in terms or change of paperwork? never know you got to judge it for yourself really exactly. but the pure halal that sharia compliant is leasing right. and you just rent the cars but there are ways and means of getting not percent finance thanks for watching today hope you found some of that information useful if you've got any questions for me for the rest of the team about sales or finance or the service side and you know about cars in general uh, do drop either a comment below or drop us a message directly and we'll make you a little video we'll, we'll come back to you on it so thanks very much for watching today and hopefully see you soon Thank you.